I've got my decaf latte, so let's play some Minecraft Province. Welcome to my first Let's Play. The deal with Minecraft Province is I would like to make oh, a very villager-centric Let's Play. So I guess one of the first things we'll need to do after punching some trees, ooh, vines, is we'll need to find, well, we'll need to find that like that village right there will do. Okay. All right, let's play over. We've done uh, done what we need to. I have quickly gone and grabbed some iron gear, and I'm just trying to speed through this first portion of um, the world because, I mean, with everyone else, you get to see this. I'm new to this, and I know this is possibly one of the most boring parts of a Let's Play, so I thought we would save both of us. But now that I've done that, I've got a good little bit of food that I just need to cook. We might look over this hill and see that village that we immediately found. So look at that. That is not a bad sized village. It's a pumpkin. Come back and grab some of that. So what I would like to do is Rather than do a big community, you know, single building, uh, trading hub kind of thing, I would very much like to just build a village, a, a province, if you would. Um, I have been watching a lot of the New Empire's SMP, and I am feeling very inspired by that. Rick, that's nice. Um, I'm... It's not that I'm new to Minecraft, I'm not the most skilled in Minecraft, I'm sure you've seen a, a well, actually you may not have. I do have some time lapses on my channel. Uh, the whole purpose of those was to just get a bit better at building, and I'm already feeling infinitely confident, and I've done six episodes to this point, so... It's amazing to think what a Let's Play might do for me. There's nothing to loot in this village, like absolutely nothing at all. You'll have something. Yeah. Ooh, diamonds. I mean, yeah, we'll leave the sword there. So we've got our first iron pickaxe. That's pretty cool. Let's um, let's just cook some of this beef. Let's probably make a few more of those as well, just to. Going. We'll come back to that and check out the rest of the village quickly. What else have we got? It's a child. And oh, a little hermit hut. Um. So I got really excited seeing a blacksmith. Uh, that's all we've seen, and no other chests. This was not a very loot-worthy village. Um, I'm just going to gather a, a few more materials and just strike out on my own. I'll come back when we start exploring. All right, so now that I've got some food, I mean, by looting everything I could in this village, I looted nothing. I know that in that direction, that's where I came from. There is a dark oak forest that way that I found. And by found, I kind of walked past it. Um, I'm thinking we might try and search in that direction over the hills. I really like the idea of being close to a village. There is ocean there, so I can easily grab some villages and get them into boats over into the ocean and bring them back to wherever we set up camp if we go coastal. But I really like the idea of coming back and making this little, just a little mining town. It's, uh, right off the bat, they just have a very cool little spiral down into a mine. I'm going to leave that coal for the time being there, and that copper. I would really like to find our base. Alright, which house should go bedless? I don't want a white bed, that's boring. Dull and boring. Get off the bed, little mate. 
my bed now. That is. Rude. Alright, what have we got? Another mine. Nice. I would really like to get a horse at some point as well. Let's go that way. This is some um, amazing terrain generation. I don't know what it is about 1.17, but personally, I keep getting a lot of floating... I mean, that's kind of connected, but like, that is not connected at all. I don't think these are connected in any way. Brown sheep. Oop. Giant pit. I know they I wouldn't really call them connected. Like, that's it. I haven't walked too far, but I did see a glimpse of the ocean, and I don't know, I feel like... That's pretty cool. That out there is pretty cool looking too. I think we should check out there. We might be able to make a cool little island village. I hope I don't. Ah, let's. I'm not risking it. I, I don't want to. Over this swim, I might. Uh, I might just go a little bit further into detail. I'm thinking for this session, rather than making, ooh, rather than making a. Um, starter base, we might start off with a village spawner. It's a little bit up in the air about that, it really just depends if I can find exactly what I want. Um, oh, I'm not enjoying this. I hope we get there quickly. I do not want that sun to go down before we can, uh, you know, put a bed up. Might actually try and do this. Make our own little bed spot, yeah? There we go, look at that. Genius campers. I mean, that's, you know, physics, right? You just place some wool in the ocean, put a bed on it, and sleep away until the sun comes up. That's how I've always done it. I don't know why I jumped in the water to do that. Done, all right. Let's make our way out here. This is looking really cool. I don't know, I just... If this is just one big island, then... This could be quite a cool spot to build up. Special... Oh, we got some turtles. Some cool little inhabitants. That's pretty sweet. We got the really cool... Um, mountains. Looks like a coffee machine. I mean, that could be me. I've made coffee for the last 10 years, but it just looks like a little home coffee machine. Alright, what's up here? Let's explore. Um, I did grab some spruce while I was at it. Okay, there's a zombie somewhere. That's pretty standard. I might actually... I have a genius idea. Let's get you, actually, first of all. What is it to make a shield? Is it that? That. Cool. Boom. Oh, I'm invincible. Well, you know, may as well be. Okay, so this is what I see. I can see the ocean going around to... I think that's ocean there? It's looking blue. It's definitely going around to there. So this might actually be one big island. We're going to get to the other side and find out. If it is, we are definitely building here. We will start right off in the middle. Knock down a nice little clearing. I mean, that would just be awesome. Let's have this good size island. It's a village we can access by boats not too far away to start off a breeder. Let's do it. Let's get to the other side. Okay, guys. So, that tree. Is it? 
I think I'm fairly certain it was that one. Maybe it was, no. It was either that tree, that tree there. One of those two trees is where I was standing, right? So we come around. Still got blue ocean. Blue ocean. That. That's, oh, let's see. That's a little bit of a coral reef that expands out into a, a decent sized coral reef. I mean, look at that. This means I can do that path that I really enjoyed that I, I like I just put it out in the recent time lapse. And what I had in the middle of that path to create that really cool grey cobble looking walkway was dead coral. Which is just exactly what I'm looking for. I've got some cows for leather. There was some sheep down around under here. The pigs. I mean they're mostly useless, but yeah, we've got them. We've got pigs. This is this is perfect. I got more turtles. Like this is it. This is going to be where we build. There's gonna be a little bit of terraforming. I think we might start off with a starter house. I I feel like making a nice build. I'm just I'm feeling really inspired. So yeah, I'll I'll go out, go gather some materials and we'll come back and we'll we'll have a nice build. So just a quick update, I have found a really nice view that I like for a good starter house. So I think we are going to look out over this. If you turn around, I have already started clearing out a good bit of space because this place is just covered, just covered in trees. So yeah, um, I'm going to get back to just gathering a few more materials. So mark down my location just in case I get lost. Um, I think I'm going to leave those big trees there. I like them there. I've never really built custom trees before, so they will be placeholders for the time being until I'm brave enough to build a custom tree. Um, depending on how my next time lapse video goes, I'm sure you will then see the kind of tree that I think I want to put in this spot. So yeah, but we'll... Well, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so... I know it hasn't been a minute yet, but I need to show you what I just found. Okay, are you ready? Let's go have a look. So I found a cool little ravine. Some iron there, I might uh, branch out and just grab that in a moment. Look at this. Straight down there. Please don't notice me, Mr. Skeleton, but look. It's an abandoned railway. I mean, like, what an incredible find, just for like, right off the bat, you know? I don't know, I might just back out of here for now and, oh, well, looks like it's time to go to sleep. Anyway, I'll be back. So I got a little bit too uh, adventurous, spent a little bit too long mining, realized I haven't lit up this area. Can you guess what did that? Go on. I don't know, sometimes I just... Need to take it a bit slower, I guess. Anyway, back to gathering. Alright, so I am back. I have gathered some materials. I've got a bit of iron, a bit of copper. Not that the copper is necessary right now. I don't really plan on building with copper blocks just yet. Maybe when I get to a blacksmith or something, but we're gonna start a build in a little, you know, foresty area. Yeah, let me just take that shield off, it's obscuring the view. But in a foresty area, I don't know, I'm just I'm thinking wood. Like for starters, for this for this first one. I really would love to use some blackstone for the roof, but I will probably just go with spruce stairs for now. I mean Minecraft, we can renovate if we'd like. But I have come along, I have found some materials. Two diamond from earlier, I've got some iron, I've made myself some iron materials, even an iron hoe bucket. I'm sure you can understand that. That means I've started farming. I'm just getting some carrots going. Um, I mean, I've got more than enough food. 
carrots aren't really for food. I just prefer to use them in villager farms because you don't get poisonous potatoes. So it just, they're a bit more efficient to use carrots. But like I've got my cooked mutton, my cooked pork chop. I'm killing pretty much any pig I see at the moment. Um, you know, I've got a few more in there. Uh, so I'm, I'm good for food, so I don't need to farm for that. But yeah, so I'm just just getting some carrots going so we can be ready to, you know, start a villager farm, hopefully next episode. But in the meantime, let's just uh, let's get started building. So come on, move. So I'm thinking classic start house. Let's start off square. Was that one? Oh, uh, let's keep you honey. Oh, there, and then I'm thinking. Three, four, five, seven. I'm gonna pull you guys out just a bit more. Let's go to there. There's seven here. Oh. Oop, oop. And I think let's pull these guys out to four, five. I don't know if I have enough spruce in my in the moment. I don't I don't know if you can tell, but um I haven't just I've got I've got I'm making this up as I go this one. So I've learned this thing with floors, right? And you can just lay down one one type. Okay, but this thing that I really love and it gives you a really good polished finish. It's like you find a color palette. You grab a couple, yeah. Just chuck something down there. Let's just bust you back up. I find there's one that's always good to be your, your bigger ones. Generally, I'll go either stone slabs or andesite, but I've gone with polished andesite. Um, which, because of the frame, I don't like having too many of them in a row. It just it looks too grid-like. It's nearly a little frame. Um, Sometimes I'll put one or two of them next to each other, but I just like to break them up. But yeah, generally, the yeah, just tiny stone slabs, they're fairly neutral. There's a nice bit of texture in them, but there's not too much stuff. So fine, they look really cool next to each other. And just chuck the bricks in there just to kind of offset it all a bit. I try when I do these not to have more than three of one kind touching at any point. And I realized I have made this highly painful on myself by having turned everything into a slab. Bad sheep. I don't have anything set up to do a cool time lapse for this because my time lapse is only set up to work on uh, 1.16. So. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cut to where it's looking good. See you in a minute. All right, so now this this isn't some sick joke. I'm not I'm not leaving these here like this. I've actually gone and cut down a bunch of birch because I want to try something different. I've never built with birch. I'm not a massive fan of birch planks, and it's not a bit of a it, it's not a oh birch planks look ugly. I think they can look really nice. I am not confident enough yet to build with them. But first of all, how do you like my floor? See? I try very hard to, you know, there's three there, three there, three there. Um, I really like just how this looks, and I know most of the time it's going to be three in an arch and not three in a line. Um, personally, I find three in a line looks quite funny. But as I got to here, I started building it out, and then I thought, let's add a bit more shape to the house. So I just I brought it down. It's just down by one block, but I think that will just make a really, really nice difference. Now, I'm not 
some master builder, you look at this house and, you know, if you're watching this, then you can build this house. It's it's that simple. I'm, I haven't fully completed my idea yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm making it up as I go. But for a starter house, make your rectangle, put a little bit off the side. And what we'll do is I'll show you a really cool and fun way just to add a second story to it. It looks really nice, especially if you've got some eye for chains and lanterns. I've got a little bit, probably I'll use them for lanterns instead of torches. Um, and uh, instead of chains currently, I'll use fences, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We'll get there when we get there. For the meantime, though, this isn't some sick joke. I do plan to bring these back. Um... I think I will leave the spruce as is. Unfortunately, placeholder tree here will probably have to go. Um, I don't plan on peeling the spruce because I don't like the idea that these will match a very similar texture like the spruce log here. Okay, let's do that. See how it's... Uh, it's a bit different, but I find this texture is too similar to that this is. And... It's a personal preference. I see people do it with this and it looks fantastic. And you might find that, well, you know what? At the end of this, we'll peel back a few of these spruce logs and just see how they look. I mean, we can replace them. It's Minecraft, right? But in the meantime, I am going to get to peeling these. I don't know if I'll do another layer of these. I think I might. I think I have enough here just to do one more layer of birch logs. Um, and then, yeah, I, think I might chuck in some oak planks above them. Just, just see how it looks. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back. I've gone and done what I said I would do. And it's an experiment. Um, it's definitely an experiment. I think I can fix this. I don't like how it looks right now. And I will walk through and I'll I'll just I'll just show you what I'm gonna do to fix this, okay? Because you know, we we should try stuff and then try and fix it rather than find the perfect way to do it the first time. Have an idea, build it. If you don't like it, tear it down, start again, okay? This is one of those times. I had an idea, I built it, I hate it, but I think I know what to do to fix it and um Well, first of all I'm gonna get some Get some food in me. All right, look, look at it. Yeah. The first mistake I made was going light at the bottom and then dark. I just, I feel like it'd be dark down the bottom. You know, like I'm thinking wet, right? I'm thinking dry, and I'm thinking grass is wet. You know, when it rains, it pulls down the bottom, so so you'd have the wet stuff or the water damage down here, all right? But also, before I tear this all down, look at this clean line. It's, it's, no. I mean, if I was building modern, which I've never done, maybe. But, yeah. So let me just tear this down real quick. All right, so I pulled it down. Now, before I go cutting camera and, and, and getting this to build to being able to put a roof on we're just going to do this wall and I'll, I'll show you what i mean on how i want to fix it but first i think it's time to sleep all right so whoop. you are pop you are i don't need the spruce okay. so i'll use up all the strips that i had so i want dark down the bottom right let's do dark Now, didn't like that straight line. Now, unfortunately, I can't get. Experience. All right. Let me just quickly ching ching ching. That just looks a lot nicer. I wonder if I can bring it up a bit higher. So this is just a little two-block gradient. It's they're not too hard, and you just 
Poker have been two blocks, you've got one or two choices, and if you don't like this block, you swap it over. But I like this. I like this. I think I'm going to go around and just do that to all the walls. So I've done more than this. I've brought it all the way around, and I really like it. I know it's still really flat looking. And I've brought the uh, the darker, like just the plain oak versus the birch, all the way down here because it's it's resting against the soil. So like it makes sense. That's it's going to be a more compromised wood. Um, I've brought it, you know, all around, all up here. I just think it looks great. I, I, I've tried to keep it at a certain certain rules, like the, the bottom layer of the floor always has to be oak. So this is where the floor is. So that had to be the oak, and the top layer had to be birch. I didn't want this darker wood reaching to the top. That would have made it look more like stripes, I think, if I'd done that. So what I'm going to do next is the roof. So I'm thinking I will have a nice, just nice arch up here, something, probably something nice and tall. I know this is starting to look like a block, but I think once we get in and we add a little bit of leafage around there and some windows and start getting it to, you know, have a few other shapes, it won't be so blocky. And here we are. We have a roof. Look at that. Let's get a slightly better vantage point. It's kind of plain. It's kind of bland. Um, a lot of that will be fixed up. You know, you pop a chimney on there. Chimneys just love me a good chimney. Let's get a. Let's just just move away from this for a minute and have a look at the size from elsewhere. That is a good looking house, honestly. I. I like it. Now it's not done. Uh, it's done for today. Uh, I am about to hop off. It's almost midnight here and I just I'll, I'll get a bit quicker at these a bit better at these there'll be more content now that I've got things set up and we go I'll have well I'll be able to do a few things next time just to make it a bit of a speedier progress what we will start off doing next episode I imagine is we will decorate the house exterior and interior now here's the really cool part about this house too, actually. Like it's it's big on the outside. Okay, but this this kind of roofing that you do, right? You do this roofing. It's this block. Just a block here. Instead of using staircase, you use a single block just to lift it up, okay? What I've what I've done on this side. Standard roofing. I've just staircases all the way up. But on the other side I've used a block just to lift it that bit higher. And it does this weird thing I find, at least at least to me I find it's like this. Alright, now it's it's a big house. It's a good sized starter house because I can fit a lot in there. I can have a nice decorated bottom, put a second floor on top and just have a beginning storage area. Um, which I like to do with just barrels and then I put item frames on it. Um, much like the first time I saw it, I'm sure they, they may not be the first person to do it. But Bottle Top Hornet did it and I loved it. Right off the bat, I just thought that is fantastic. Um, but you come inside, and it just seems so much bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Like widthwise, it's about the same, but it's just so tall. And up here, I can second floor. This is the stripped spruce. I just I needed something around the middle to break it up because I went with birchwood. Just up here. Okay, I just didn't want to keep the one going up. So I went with some birch wood and I just needed something to break it. And I just thought I'd run a strip of spruce along. Or a strip of stripped spruce even. And even from the outside, what we'll do is we will get some spruce fences or spruce gates and just run them along there. Maybe throw some trap doors on top and it'll just be this really nice really nice texture. I will bring that roof out a bit further because if you look at it from here it's a bit funny looking. Um, so what I will likely do is when I get some 
Blackstone. Uh, I will just run that along here on just this front layer. We'll run some of them there. Yeah. yeah. Before we go though, there's one more thing I want to do, and that's about spawn proofing roofs. I know a lot of people know this, and it. Sorry, I'm just. I know it's probably lit up enough, but I just hate with the dark bits. This, this, we'll, we'll sort this out next episode. Next episode will be a real nice looking. Thing. But spawn proofing roofs, stairs, slabs, entirely spawn proof. Every now and then you will have a flat bit that will be spawnable. Okay, now this here, these are slabs. These are slabs, but they're at that spawn height. Okay, so this is spawnable. Same as all this. Now I could do. Sorry, I just I'll fix this up. Slap, spawnable slap. I could throw some torches up here. It would light it up. It would be odd looking. Okay, like sure, nothing spawning here now, but that would just look really odd. Or because we won't really see this from the bottom. Get some buttons. Button on each space. Look at that. Done. You know what? Fly over that. That just adds a nice cool little ridge to it. But it also spawn proofs everything. I am very happy with this. I think that looks fantastic. I'm, I'm hoping to do these weekly. I think the next episode will come out a bit quicker because I uh, just I've taken some time to do this and I've got a little bit of time on me so I will get this edited, put it up and then I'll probably start filming the second one straight away but for the most part I plan for all of these here to be a, a, a weekly installment while I also try and get a time lapse out every week but there may be there may be delays every now and then I do apologize for that but I am going to work very hard to ensure that you know that there are thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'm really looking forward to putting out a few more have a good week bye